Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Sayyid Musa Kaleem from Epicop, and today I'm gonna show you Firebase authentication in Ionic. So let's get started. So this is my home page, and you can see here I have two buttons on my home page: register and login. In this video, I'll show you how we can register uh, using Firebase authentication, and probably in the next part of this video uh, that will be the part 2 and that video I'll show you the login using the Firebase authentication so we'll see how we can register using email so this is my home page I have two buttons on my home page and you could see here I have created register page and login page using the command ionic g means generate page and your page name so you could use this command to generate a new page in Ionic so this is my register page and I have given a form with two input fields one is the username and another one is the, another one is the password so these are the two input fields on my register page and the register button is here and on the click event I am calling user register so this is about the register page and this is the login page same as like register page with two input fields username and password first we'll see about the register page now we'll jump to the firebase dashboard here you could see that I have a project with this name and if you want to create a new project then click this button add project and give your project name test project and you have to select your country I'll select India India so if you if you if you hit this button then your project will be created I have my project created here so I'll open this and inside the project dashboard you could see here we have a list of different options authentication database storage so as we are going to see the authentication part so we need to use this option that is authentication so I don't have any users right now so if we click setup sign in method yeah you can see here we have different options email phone and you could also log in with Google, Facebook, Twitter, GitHub and even anonymous logins are also available in Firebase. So I'll select this one and I'll enable this one and I'll save this. So this will allow us to log in with email and password. So when we go back will see three different options at Firebase to iOS app, Android app and your web app so we'll select this one and we can see here we have API key and value so this is my API key and value so I'll add this one uh, API key to my app.model.ts file not this file app.module.ts this one copy this file and close this above your ng module you could see here constant firebase equals to this part so you could see here I have a firebase authentication variable with API key and API value so I have save it save that value in app.module.ts file and now we'll jump to the page where we can get the instructions to install angular firebase angular firebase auth so this is the link uh, and I'll paste this link in the video description so you can have it from there 
github.com slash angular slash angular fire 2 so using this information will install firebase in our application when we go to the docs we'll see a list of options here and we'll go to the first option that is install and setup so if we want to install firebase in our ionic project then we have to use this command this command npm install angular fire 2 firebase dash dash save this command will save angular fire 2 firebase in our uh, package.json so you can see here I have my git bash open here so we'll use this command npm install angular angular fire 2 angular fire 2 firebase dash dash save this will install firebase auth in our project so after installing this you could see here add firebase config to environments variable as we have done already this part we have done already in app.model.ts we have saved the uh, we have saved uh, our API key so you can see here API key and API value so this is the most important part of firebase authentication uh, unless and until you you cannot say you you have to save this unless and until you can't use firebase authentication in ionic project so we have saved already and after doing this we have to import angular fire module in app.module.ts uh, this might take some time to install we'll add this import statement to app.module.ts yeah you can see here app.module.ts and after importing the angular fire module we have to give angular fire module in imports this is the import array so we could use this so I'll use this in this option inside the parameter as you can see here it is not showing angular fire module because of the comma we have to give comma then angular fire module dot initialize app firebase in this case uh, it is present under the environment folder and dash firebase but in my case I have as I have given a constant variable here so I could use here directly so we'll see yeah the angular fire model has been installed in, in our ionic project so now we could use angular fire module angular firebase so after importing in the imports array we have to use we have to assign in the firebase database auth modules as well adding firebase database and auth modules uh, is a optional part because we, we are not using any database stuff here so but we are using auth modules so we have to include this angular fire auth module and here we have to give it below this so this will bring the authentication part in our up application uh, when we jump here you can see here angular fire auth module inside the imports array below this one this will bring the authentication part so 
injecting angular fire database is not uh, a mandatory here as we are not using database part and we are not storing anything on, on database so this is all about the authentication part we have added and we have imported all the statements in app.model.ts so now we'll go to the user authentication part when we save when we hit save when we save these all files now it's time for the registration part we we have to close this app.model.ts as we are done with that now we'll jump to the register.ts file in this file we will register a new user so we'll see here user authentication so this is the most important part of registering a user in firebase as you could see here angular fire auth from angular fire 2 slash auth this import statement will allow us to register a new user so I'll paste it down here I'll use this import statement in my register.ts file and finally I'll create a I'll pass a parameter of this firebase auth slash angular fire auth so what we have what I have done here is I have created a firebase auth which is of type angular fire auth and I have passed as a parameter in the constructor so this is the method user dot register method will get call on the register button click event so inside this I'll use this this dot firebase auth dot you could see here I have a list of options here no I'm not doing correct yeah you can see here when we use this dot firebase auth dot auth dot yeah you can see here we have a list of different options uh, yeah you can see here sign in anonymously sign in with credential custom token we have different options so I'll use create user with email and password and this method will take two parameters probably yeah you can see here email is the first parameter which is of type string and the next one is the password which is also of type string and I'll pass this dot user dot value comma this dot password dot value so as you can see here it returns a promise probably you don't uh, probably you might have heard about promise uh, promise is let me tell you about the promise Prom promise is actually a fancy way to write a uh, asynchronous code so this will return a promise so we'll see how we can handle the promise and how we can manage to show the promise return value in the in our browser console so we'll see that uh, when we use our promise then then data of you can see here console dot log uh, user will user uh, user registered successfully and we'll also see data semicolon if it returns any error then we'll catch this error and we'll display this error in the console using console dot log hmm. uh, we'll display a message called error register error in or error registering user Error registering user 
will display this message and we'll also see the error so this is all about the authentication part uh, we are we are creating our new user we are registering our new user with email and password by passing two parameters that is email and password and let me show you the form this is the form this is the item for for the username and the, the next item is for the password so we have basically two items two field two input fields available on my form username and password so I, I am using these two values in view child and I am accessing the values from that view child so I am passing along uh, with the with this method and I finally I am returning the promise which will be shown in the console so let's hit the hit the save button and let's run our ionic app using ionic lab this command will run our ionic app in ionic lab so you can see here this is all about the firebase authentication this in this video I have all I have shown uh, only the part of registration user registration but in the next part of this video I'll show you how we can log in using firebase authentication using email and password so hope it is clear so far and hope you understand about uh, and I'll say no because I don't want to install an update here when we hit no this pro this ionic app will be started for compiling will start it compiling on the home page I have created two buttons as I have shown you earlier register and login and uh, when the user hits register it gets pushed nav controller will push this to register page and uh, this login method will push the user to login page and I am doing without lazy loading and in the uh, next in the upcoming videos I'll also show you about lazy loading as well uh, how we can use lazy loading and uh, in ionic so I'll show you in the upcoming videos now you can see here it is still compiling it might take some time to run on the browser so this is the part and I have already enabled the sign in method of email and password yeah I have a, our application is ready now this will bring the nice little interface of any type of all three platforms uh, in my case I am only using iPhone you could also select Android and Windows as well first I'll open my console you can see here when we click register this brings up the form and I'll give Musa at the rate gmail.com and password when we hit register yeah you can see here Musa dot Musa at the rate gmail.com we are able to see in our console and the response which is in in a JSON format yeah you can see here key values display name email address and all the other stuff so when we go to the uh, when we go to the uh, firebase auth dashboard we'll able to see the user with the name musa at the rate gmail.com as you could see here this is all about the registration part with email and password so hope it is clear so far and hope you understand about the registration and in the next video I'll show you how you could log in with email and password thanks for watching this video and please subscribe and share my videos with your friends and thanks again for watching my videos